Hi Brunson, welcome back. Here I am, Miss Blake Butler, aka Miss Columbiana, aka Miss uh, Brunza, aka her, aka not him. So if you want to misgender, then get the f out of here. We are filming in the bathroom. Oh, here we go. Oh. So yeah, now that that's out the way, you're wondering what this ugly ass plant next to me, this random ass fucking thing is, yep, now you know. So here she is, here is Miss Gucci bag, this is my stripper bag, um, she's absolutely gorgeous, she's two and a half thousand dollars, um, I bought her, oh, the backstory of this bitch was an absolute disaster, I bought her on, let's just sit her down. I bought her online on Gucci online because they don't have Gucci in Adelaide. I know, I live in a country bumpkin town. I thought I ordered her on the Australian website. Turns out I ordered her on China, so the delay was quite there. And anyway, fast forward, I basically got her because when I went to Korea to get, you know, <laughs> my mug, and she got lost in the mail, like in the fucking sky. It was a treacherous disaster. I was absolutely bawling my eyes out all the time in Korea. I was like, where's my Gucci bag? Complaining about a $2,000 bag getting a $1,000 face, but hey. Um, but yeah, it was really sad. It was a moment to be a bit... It was a humbling experience, that's for sure. Here I am going to show off what I have in my stunning Miss Gucci bag. Absolutely gorgeous, my most prized possession. I've got a little bronzer stain just there, like... I need to take her to the cleaners, but I kind of just want to buy a new bag anyway. So I'm thinking like, I'll just upgrade the bag and like she can, like obviously, you know, I'll still wear her and you know, she'll be on show, but she's not going to be my number one baby anymore. There's a little button here on the side. Oh, and we're on the flap. I even got another stain here. That's a lip liner. My hair's a shit show. I'm done. So when I open it up, the first thing you usually find will be a, another pair of sunglasses. We've definitely got a theme going on with the Diamantes. Um, I don't know, I think she's kind of cute. You know, she's kind of a vibe. She works with like, oh, okay, hot though. But like, if my tits were like, oh, hot. I wish they stayed up like that. I need to get another breast lift. What? This will be like usually sitting on top. Sunglasses are always a main thing. I need to make sure I have when I'm going anywhere because usually I've got like crack court leftover makeup from the night before and leftover makeup. God, I'm using a lot of hand gestures. Hold up. Let's just calm down a moment. Like the black crackiness under the eyes, like the mascara, the gel liner. And if I'm going out and I've been out the night before, I know I've got cracked out eyes. I know I've got black mascara running down my face. I don't need to be having everyone see that. So you slap on a pair of sunglasses as shown and you know, you're good to go. No one's looking at you. I mean, they might look at you, but who cares? At least you're a cut bitch. I make sure I always take my brush as well because if you're a haggard ass bitch like me, Next item is an empty pack of cigarettes. I don't smoke. Um, the reason why I carry this with me is because if you see any like sketchy people and, and like you feel like you're gonna get robbed, I feel like cigarette, like an empty pack of cigarettes is good to have in your bag because throw them at that junkie because they're hardly gonna want that Gigi bag of yours. They're gonna want the cigarettes. Like, why have the $2,000 option when you can have the $20 cancer stick? I always make sure I have my bronzers on me. So I always, Make sure that, because if you're going outside and you're like pale, you don't want to be pale. I've got five today because I've been out all day today. Um, uh, it's been a crazy day. And obviously if you're packing your bronzer, you know, you've got to use your brush. So I take my pretty Real Techniques pink brush. Um, purely like this just because it's pink and glittery and absolutely gorgeous. I actually don't think the brush performs very well, but look at her. 
bitch is going everywhere I'm going. I've also got a pink vibrator. I did a video on this with my sugar daddy, so if you want to see her, I'll link her below. Uh. I always like carrying the latest iPhone um, packaging box in my bag just for status. Is another reason for junkies if I'm ever getting attacked or anything and you know maybe they need the phone or something i might just chuck the box or something I'm probably just going to use my bag as an ashtray anyway so rude so they're better off just using the iphone um, i also like to pack a pair of my cycle snake shorts these are by Bardo. um i don't know you never know when you want to rock some snake fashion i am a snake print enthusiast so I always got to make sure I'm keeping up to date with my brand. So I always carry a pair of bike shorts, snake skin, of course, in case of an emergency. I also like to take a shaver for five o'clock shadow reasons. I'm one that suffers with this, unfortunately. So if I'm ever out or something and, you know, I notice that I can feel a little bit of a stubble, get the shaver out. Over the makeup's okay, you can touch up in the bronzer. Lucky I've got the shaver, shave her off. Oh, oh, it's gonna take my makeup off. Damn, I've got bronzer packed. I think about this, don't even like... I usually pay everything by card because who really carries cash these days? But I always try and make an effort to make sure I have at least 350 bucks on me because you honestly never know if you're in case of an emergency if someone needs to borrow money so i always make sure i've got 350 on me i don't know what it is but i will not have any more any less 350 dollars no matter where i go i always make sure i carry my Dettol hand sanitizer for the reason of this because you never know how many dirty bitches you're about to pass if you accidentally fall over or you know if you take money from someone um if you give a hand job it's nice to just sanitize after you do Look, babe. Now I have some bio oil. I love to make sure I've got bio oil because it's really good for scarring. Obviously, I just got my forehead done. You know, I've been cut open everywhere, so I kind of like to always make sure I've got this on me. So I'm always constantly fading my scars away, making sure I'm healing like a bus bit. I like to make sure I've got my favorite bottle of Lou. I have this on me just in case that my fucking feet become uncomfortable and you know, they're starting to slip out of my shoes, the gold one. Wet stuff. Um, so yeah, this is for my shoes. Otherwise I like to do it for if I'm giving um, someone a hand job. Um, I also like to make sure I'm carrying my three favorite DVDs. Scooby-Doo, the multiple collection, so you've got one and two. My uh, life is just infatuated with Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't do it. We have Kathy and Kim Torella, the wedding, uh, the movie, whatever. Very Australian culture. I don't know much about Australia because I am from Colombia, so it is good to catch up on the current Australian culture things. Um, also got to make sure mum family's on me at all times. Because of that man right there, Mr. Phil Dumpy. He's the man of my dreams. I don't know why I want him to be my dad. But that's kind of hot as well, like daddy issues. Um, I also have my hair straightener, my flat iron. This is just a GHD. Um, because I have such frizzy hair, like you can see now. I could, okay, you know what? So this is why times like having this random shit in my bag comes in handy because look, I had the frizzies, I had the frizzies hair before as you could see and now like I just look so much better. Okay, this used to be my favourite um, perfume but um, it just became to smell a little transphobic so <laughs> on to the next.